everyone. Welcome to Wellness Wednesday. I am excited to bring you some chair yoga today. I really want to get you moving. And one of the things that I love to teach is somatic um, or somatic flow. With somatic flow, what I do is I link movements together, but I'm hoping that you are utilizing a connection between your mind and your body. And you're not just doing the thing. You're not just doing the movements, but you're actually paying attention to how um, the movements occur. So for example, you might, if I say something like lift your arm, you might lift your arm. You don't, you just lift your arm. But what if I say, all right, sense deeply into your body and you're going to lift your right arm. When you lift your arm, I want you to notice what part of your body moves first. So now you'll do that. And you might notice that your shoulder moves first. And then maybe you engage your tricep. And now you might sense more your elbow and now your arm is being lifted. So that is the concept behind somatics. And that is why I like to take movements slowly. Now in these classes, we're not going as slow as we would go in a 100% in a somatics class. We are, however, using those concepts, which is slow, exploratory, and conscious. So we're just aware of what we're doing. So as we're in this brief practice today, remember to keep those things in mind. Go slower than you think. Be aware of what is actually happening in the body to move your body. And stay curious. Notice what is happening and explore a little bit more of that movement. Okay. So first what we'll do is we'll start with some seated cat cows. So notice when you start your seated cat cow, you have to pray, press into your legs or your desk in order to begin the movement. You don't just start the movement. So close or lower your eyes and notice the connection between your hand and your legs or your hand in the desk. You might notice that you're more on your sides of your feet, place the soles of your feet directly underneath your knees. And now take an inhale. And exhale, send your back towards the space behind you. If you think about it, if you had cat claws, you'd be, look, you'd be like a cat, but you're doing it sitting. Take an inhale, come back to center. Notice when your head starts to come up. Notice how if you hunch or if you draw your shoulders back and come all the way back now, press into your hands to come into a cow pose. So if you think about a cow, they moo up and that's what the action that you're doing. Lengthen along the entire front body, lengthen your neck and let your head reach towards the space behind you. Take an inhale. And now exhale, go in the opposite direction. Notice what moves as you send your back body to the space behind you. And then switch again. And come back to center. I want to also give you just a little information as to why. We're doing this because also as we go throughout the day, especially as stressors come up, we just start going on to autopilot. It's actually our nervous system's response to get things done and not be in freak out mode the entire time. You might have noticed that when you are freaked out or stressed out over something, you're not your best. You're either going to argue with someone or you're just going to be caught off guard, not knowing what to say, or you might just start, you know, trying to appease the person to get 
them out of your way. And that is all just a stress and trauma response. So what we want to do instead is we want to be able to just take a breath. This is especially important when you have important moments like exams or um, appointments that make you nervous and things like that. Let's give you an opportunity to have your breath. All right, so now we're going to get into more flow and it's all going to be utilizing the chair um, and we'll see how it goes in terms of space. All right, so we're gonna do that again. Take an inhale, find the length along your spine and then exhale, send your, your back towards the space behind you like a cat. Inhale, come to center. Notice how long you can make your neck and your back body. And exhale, draw your head back. Inhale, come to center, pause. And exhale, press um, into your left leg and begin just drawing your right shoulder back. Notice how far it goes. Inhale, come to center. Also notice, does your hand slide? Do you pick it up? And then exhale, press into the right leg and draw your left arm back. Come back to center. Do that again. Take an inhale. And then exhale, draw your right shoulder back. Inhale, come to center. And exhale, draw the left shoulder back. Inhale, come to center. And exhale, widen your knees apart to any degree. Place your right forearm on your right leg. Sorry, your left forearm on your left thigh. Take an inhale, reach your right arm up. Look at your fingertips. Reach as long, as far as you can go. Look to fingertips. And then on your exhale, follow your fingertips around until you get to the corner where the ceiling and the wall meet. Keep your gaze there as you wrap your right arm around behind your back. Your hand can go right into the top of your pant or belt. Take another inhale. Exhale, draw your right shoulder back. Inhale, bring your right shoulder back into the same plane as your hip. Exhale, lean just a wee bit more. Inhale, reach your right arm up and over. And exhale, bring your right arm down. Left arm comes down too, come into a twist. Discern if you'd like to bring your chin over your left shoulder or not. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, bring your right forearm down to your right thigh. Inhale, reach up and over with the left hand. Look to your left fingertips. Exhale, follow your fingertips around until you get to the corner where ceiling and wall meet. Keep your gaze there as you wrap your left arm around your back. Take an inhale, lengthen your neck towards the ceiling. And on your exhale, draw your left shoulder back a bit more. Stay for another inhale. And exhale. Inhale, bring your left shoulder back in the same plane with your hip. And stay for the exhale. Inhale, draw your left arm up and around. And exhale, draw it down and cross over the body over to the right side. Notice where your chin is. Do you want to keep it there or draw your chin back 
over your right shoulder. Inhale, come back to center. And exhale, heel toe your feet back in. Inhale, bring your arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, have them come back out as you fold over your legs or desk. Hands come to your thighs. Inhale, tilt your heart forward in that teeny tiny cow motion. And exhale, tilt your back, back in that teeny tiny cat motion. Inhale, arms come out to center and reach up again. Exhale, hands to heart center. Notice the connection between your hands and your feet and the floor. Sense your breath. Now sit back a bit more in your desk, if you in your chair, if you come forward and bring just your right leg out to the right. You can send your right leg long if you have this space. Inhale, reach your right arm over and over to the left side. Look towards the left side of the floor. Look toward your right fingertips. Bend your right elbow and draw your shoulder back even more. Inhale, look to your right fingertips, extend your arm. And exhale, place your right hand onto your thigh. This is gate pose. And lift your left arm over for a nice side bend. Look to your left fingertips. Lift up and move them all the way down. Stretch, stretch, stretch out to the left. And then they come down, reach up right and over. Look to your right fingertips. Follow them around. And bring your hand all the way down. Right knee comes in. And now we'll bring the left knee out to the left. Bring your right hand down now. Inhale, reach up on the left. So your, oops, extend the left leg out. I almost forgot. Reach the left arm up and over. Nice, delicious side bend. Draw your shoulder away from your ear. Look to your left fingertips. Inhale. Exhale, bend your left elbow, draw your left shoulder back. Inhale, reach your arm back over center, follow your fingertips. Exhale, follow your fingertips around and down until they find the left leg. Reach your right hand over, side bend. Inhale, look to your right fingertips. Exhale, follow them around and reach all the way as far as possible to the right side until they come down and reach up on the left again. Look to your left fingertips, follow them all the way around. Come down and bring the left leg in. Take a moment just to be. Last option, bring your hands behind your bum. So you can even sit on your fingertips and place your hands on either the chair or underneath your fingertips, your option. Press into the chair and open across the front of your heart. Free all of the space along the front of your heart. Lift your chin. 
and exhale, come back. And this is a seated camel pose. Do that again. Hands can come down, really press as you lift your chest to the sky. And exhale, chin comes down again. Place your hands on your desk or your thighs and sense calm and ease. Notice if your feet are underneath your knees or if you've rolled onto the edges of your feet again. Notice if you're hunched or if you're sitting upright, shoulders away from your ears. Notice all of the space that is available for breath as you bring more space around the throat and shoulders. And take a full inhale. And exhale, happy sigh. Hmm. That's it for today. I hope that you are feeling more connected to your body, your breath, and your mind. And keep going so that you have some tools whenever stress is high and you want to bring a little more connectedness to yourself. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Bye now.